Hello students, welcome to the virtual biology lab. Today let us learn about the reproductive parts of the flower and the experiment 1. The aim of the experiment is to study the reproductive parts of the flower. The principle involved in this experiment is the flowers are the site of sexual reproduction in flowering plants. A typical bisexual flower is made up of four orals, namely calyx, corolla, androsium and gynosium. The calyx and corolla are said to be non-essential orals, while the androsium and gynosium are said to be essential orals of the flower. The androsium and gynosium represent the male and female reproductive parts respectively. The unit of androsium is called the stamen and the unit of gynosium is called pistil or carpel. A stamen consists of a long slender filament with a bilobed anther and a carpel consists of stigma, style and ovary. The procedure involved in this experiment is observe the flower, usually a discus flower is given to you, remove the calyx and corolla carefully and expose stamens and carpels. Take a thin section of the ovary, that is transverse section of the ovary, mount on a slide with a drop of water and examine under the septic microscope. Here the dissecting microscope is also said to be simple microscope. Likewise, take a thin transverse section of the anther to mount on a slide with a drop of water and examine under the uh, dissecting microscope. Dear students, when you observe the stamen on the microscope, the stamen consists of a long slender filament with reniform anther and monothecus condition in the hibiscus stamen while it is bilobed anther and sagittate and dithecus in vinca stamen. If you observe the pistil or the carpel, the pistil consists of the stigma which is a receptive surface of the flower and a long slender style and a bulge or swollen ovary. Inside the ovary, the spaces are present called as the locules. They are also said to be the chambers of the ovary which encloses ovules. That is the pistil or the carpel. Now let us look into the locule or the loculi in the ovary. The locules are said to be the chambers of the ovary containing the ovules. Based on the number of the locules or the chambers, the ovary may be unilocular or monolocular. Example is B. It can be bilocular where two chambered ovary can be seen. Example is petunia or vinca. It could be trilocular where the uh, ovary consists of three chambers. Example is banana. And in tetralocular, the ovary consists of four chambers. Example is the dura. And in multilocular or pentalocular ovary, the ovary is made up of five or more chambers. Example is hibiscus. So, if you observe the arrangement of the ovules within the ovary, that is called as placentation, uh, the arrangement can be of various types. First one is the marginal placentation. The placenta bearing the ovules arise in the rows on the margin of the placenta. Example is B. In the axial placentation, the placenta bearing the ovules arise from the center of the ovary. Example is hibiscus. In parietal placentation, the placenta bearing the ovules arise on the inner wall of the ovary. Example, mustard. And in free central, the placenta bearing the ovules uh, freely at the center and example is chili and in basal placentation the placenta bearing the ovules arise from the base of the ovary example sunflower coming to the experimental part this is the hibiscus flower uh, as i said in the piston the pentaphid uh, stigma is the same this is the pentaphid stigma and these are the stamens that are present now, to take the section, remove the calyx carefully, remove the petals, the petals are arranged in twisted 
estivation. This is said to be the staminal tube. I have exposed the staminal tube. By taking a needle, make small incisions, remove the staminal tube. and expose the pistil. This is the pistil which has been exposed. Stigma, long slender style and the ovary. Now, take a blade, take a thin section of the ovary. You can take many number of sections. Take a thin section of the ovary. Place it on the slide with the help of a needle. Put a drop of water. And you can watch it under the simple microscope or dissecting microscope. This is the dissecting microscope. It consists of a stage, glass stage. Place the slide on the glass stage. Adjust the mirror to the light. And uh, you can watch the piece of ovary which shows axile placentation. If you watch TS of ovary under dissecting microscope, the ovary shows axile placentation. The placenta bearing the ovules arise from the central axis of a pentalocular ovary that is axile placentation. There are five chambers that is there are five locules and in each locule two ovules are attached and totally there are 10 ovules are present in TSO ovary.